Hey guys, this is Chris here. I am back. I'm going to continue my Crazy Party series, taking a look at the two other uh, game types that are available in Crazy Party. Um, a couple of things before I get started. Uh, number one, I was wrong about the decks. It didn't delete the decks. It it just restricted the ones that that I couldn't use because I had a brand new uh, clean save file in there, but once I put mine back in, it, it uh, worked just fine. And uh, the, other, the other thing is there are actually two more modes that, that I have not demonstrated yet. So let's get into it. The The first one is the, is the board mode, and the next one is micro games, which I think I'm going to, to demonstrate micro games first, because they will take less time. Menu. Crazy, crazy unknown. So let's launch Crazy Party. Crazy Party Beta 63. Main menu. Play the adventure. All right, here, here we are. Now, case the battle arenas. Play a board game. I will look at the board games in just a little bit. Rewards room. Let's go in here. Rewards room. You currently have 14 million. Make your choice. Play what? Yeah, I have <laughs> 14 million gems. I cheated my uh, gems. Anyway. Uh, in the re rewards room, you have various choices that you can do. Unlock, play one, unlock mini game, one gem. That lets you play one game for one gem. Launch a solo mini game party, eight gems. This launches an offline mini game party that you play by yourself. Try to unlock mini games, twenty gems. This option will put you in a world and tries to help you unlock games, but you may or may not actually do it because. A lot of the games that I haven't unlocked are re are really really hard. Launch a training battle party, two gems. This is a training battle against the computer. Play a team battle, six gems. This is co-op multiplayer, or ba basically it's a co-op battle with the computer. So you're partnered with a computer player, and there there is another team of computer players. Let me turn the music down just a little bit. F um. F7 turns it down, F8 turns it up. Play a micro game, four gems. Micro games, I will get to those in just a second. That lets you play one of them. I believe there are 29 of them. Play a micro game, choose a micro game, zero. So we got zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, zero. Yeah, so there are. Well, actually, there's. Uh, not twenty nine, but. Th one. Thirty micro games. Sorry, stupid stutter. Thirty. Zero. Uh, but let's just play one just to give you an idea. Zero. Now, the goal of micro games. 19 seconds. And uh, you have a very short um, amount of time. The goal of micro games. You're back to. Oops. Six seconds. You're back to. I'm your not going to make point. it. Play again? Yes. No. No. You currently have 14 million. Make your. Yeah, okay. The goal of micro games is to walk around one of the random worlds from the mini games and collect the ruby. Uh, so to better show you that, I'm gonna actually play a uh, party, which I get, I believe gives you like ten of these micro games, or it might be less. Launch just try to unlock mini. Launch a training. Play a team. Play a micro game. Launch a solo micro game party. One gem. Yeah, let's do that. Launch a solo micro game party. One gem. Micro game. Six turns. Ah. Six turns. Okay. Press enter to continue. Alright, so I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to try to, to navigate these uh, worlds and um, try to find the ruby. So Turn here we one. go. Now, these can also be played online if you wish. Alright, so I'm walking to the right, pressing the spacebar to jump these chasms. Seven seconds. You die. And I'm not going to make it. You're back to your starting point. So this one is a side-scrolling game. Um, your score of zero has just been added to your total score, which is now zero. Yeah, okay. 
Um, you're not given instructions when you begin these, so you kind of have to explore and find out if the world is a, a slide scroller or a 2D map. Turn two. Let's try this again here. All right now we're underwater and there are some bubbles. So I'm gonna head up and I'm heading left. And that means I'm running out of air, so if I don't grab this soon, there we go. Zero points, nine seconds. We have nine seconds. Ah, here it is. Four it. seconds. Two seconds. Ah, uh, I didn't get it. Your score of zero has just been added. I was close. Turn three. Alright, now we're... What the hell is this place? So these are conveyor belt things. It's a track. Uh, I'm heading up, 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 down, left, and right, trying to figure out what to do. And my time's up. Your score of Yeah, I don't particularly, particular, it, particularly like micro games. Turn four. But I thought I would demonstrate them. All right, so now we're, sounds like we're in a 3D, or a, a, a 2D grid. Oh, I died. There are robots and electricity, and... You have eight seconds. Yeah. And my time's just about to get, just about to go out. Your school. Yeah, okay, so I think... I think maximum you have 20 seconds on these micro games, so you have to be really, really quick. Turn five. Let's try this one here. This is, um... These are mushrooms that you have to dodge. Ah, hold on. Six seconds. Your score of one has just been added to your total score, which is now one. Right, so that game uh, came from one of the mushroom mini games where you have to dodge mushrooms that are toxic. When you hear that, psh, you don't want to be close to them or else you'll uh, die. And that time I actually got the uh, ruby, so I got one point. So well, let's try this uh, last one and then I will move on to, to the board mode. Turn six. Now this one is a racetrack. Well, hang on. I will. Zero points. Let me let me do this, and then I will tell you what's what's going on. Three seconds. Ah. Your score of zero has just been added to your total score, which is now one. So that one was one of the racing games where you're racing against the uh, turtle and basically what you do is you head north and when you hear the beeping noise uh, that will either be in front of you or to your left or right and what you want to do is you want to turn when you hear that and you'll hear it come from either the left uh, ear, left ear, right ear or in the center and you, you want to turn in that direction so if if you hear that boop in your left ear you'll want to walk to it and and then walk left uh the goal is to not step off of that track or else you'll lose time and things like that um so let's see here the game is ending let's see the results now your final score is one points your result allows you to add one more coins in your money box congratulations Press enter to continue. You currently have 14 million to make your time. Yeah, I know. I have a... I, I have an unrealistic, unrealistic number of gems. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, okay, so... Main menu. That, in a nutshell, is micro games. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you is, are the uh, board games. Place the play a board game. Play a board game. Board. Select the board you want to play. The Quiet Woods. 50 squares. Now, I think when you start out, you only have one board, and I think you unlock more by getting gems. And then you can go into the 
rewards room and unlock them once you have this the specified number of uh, gems. So currently uh, we have this one. The deep water, 70 squares. The mystic cave, 81 squares. The mischievous castle, 90 squares. The quiet woods, 50 squares. Uh, what? Let's see. What board should I go for? Well, let's go with the first one just to show you how it works. The quiet will choose the number of turns for this party. 25. Okay, so you have t uh, 25. 50. 50. 75. 75. 25. And that's it. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with 25 just to keep this from going on forever. 25. 25. Enable the hardcore mode. No. Hard um, hardcore mode affects mini games. It makes them harder. Again, that is something else that you have to unlock through the rewards room, I believe. Um, yes. Alternate hardcore mode. So you have yes, no, or alternate, which that basically means they will either be hardcore or they won't. No. Yes. Yeah, you, you you know what? Let's let's go with hardcore just just to show you. Alt yes, yes. Hardcore mode. Get ready. The party is about to start. You'll be receiving 10 coins and will be able to play on the board. All right. Now, before we continue, let me tell you what's going to happen basically. Basically, at your turn, you will uh, roll a dice. You will move the specified number of squares and then things will happen. Uh, you will either play a mini game, you'll lose coins, you'll win coins. There's a bank that g gives you more coins or makes you lose them. Things like that. The The board mode is okay, but it's it's probably the least developed mode of this game and I think it would be cool if he added more more boards and just let you do more or maybe even let you um I don't know maybe even let you create your own boards that would be cool uh but I'm gonna hit enter and here we go turn one the dice is rolling press f or enter in order to stop it so the dice is rolling, and when you're ready, you just hit F or enter. Well, let's hit F. You rolled a one. One. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won three coins. You now have 13 coins. Turn two. The dice is rolling. Press F or enter in order to stop it. Now, because I'm playing by myself, this should go rather quickly. Um, if you're playing with people online, it, it will take longer. Ooh, ooh excuse me. You rolled a five, two, three. Four, I did not five, mean to burp six. like that. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won three coins. You now have 16 coins. Turn three. The dice is rolling. Press F or enter in order to stop it. And as you can probably hear, there are sound effects that play when you're traveling, but that's, that's you cool. One. Seven. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won three coins. You now have 19 coins. Turn four. The dice is rolling. Press F or enter in order to stop it. So basically, I'm just pressing F and listening to what... It tells me, so let's keep going. You rolled a 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won 3 coins. You now have 22 coins. Turn 5. The you rolled a 4, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won 3 coins. You now have 25 coins. Turn 6. The you rolled a 3. 17, 18, 19. Oh no, a red square. You lost three coins. You now have 22 coins. Turn seven. You rolled a three. 20, 21, 22. Oh no, a red square. You lost three coins. You now have 19 coins. Turn eight. You rolled a six. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won three coins. You now have 22 coins. Turn. You rolled a three. 29, 30, 31. It's a neutral square. Turn 10. The die. You rolled a 3. 32, 33, 34. Oh no, a red square. You lost 3 coins. You now have 19 coins. You rolled a 6. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh no, a red square. You lost 3 coins. You now have 16 coins. Turn 12. All right, so just keep going, going here. 41. Yeah, this is... Oh, a bank. Before continuing, you'll have to deposit some money here. You lost five coins. You now have 11 coins. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Oh no, a red square. You lost three coins. Right, so let's keep rolling. 
47, 48, 49, 50. You arrive exactly at the last square of the board and will thus deserve a bonus. You won 10 points. You now have 18 points. Turn 14. The dice is rolling. All right, so now we're going to go back because I've reached the end of this board. Um, and hopefully we, we will get a mini game square just so I can show you what that's like. You rolled a 4. 49, 48, 47, 46. Oh no, a red square. You lost 3 coins. You now have 15 coins. Turn. You rolled a 6. 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. Oh, a bank. Before continuing, you'll have to deposit some money here. You lost 5 coins. You now have 10 coins. 40. Oh no, a red square. You lost 3 coins. You rolled a 1. 39. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won 3 coins. You now have 10 coins. Turn 17. You rolled a 3. 38, 37, 36. A game square. A mini game will randomly be selected. All right, here we go. Let's see what game we get. Log cut. What? You have discovered a forest people and this one offers you a little test. A log of wood is placed in front of you and it is up to you to choose whether or not to cut it, depending on its quality. Sorry, that's my Amazon Echo going off. I apologize for that. Let me, uh, let's read that again, shall we? Press the... You have discovered log cut. You have discovered a forest people and this one offers you a little test. A log of wood is placed in front of you, and it is up to you to choose whether or not to cut it, depending on its quality. The closer the pitch of the sound to the perfect pitch, the better the quality. Press E to listen to the log sound again, then press F to cut, or R to refuse and change the log. So I think you have to listen for the sound, and the higher it is, the more perfect. Um, perfect log. So let's press 1. Perfect log. Perfect log. Perfect log. So that's the sound that we need to focus on. Hang on. Actually, I will be Audacity, I, Audacity. right back. Hang on. All right. Sorry about that. I was putting my echo in do not disturb mode. Crazy. Now. Perfect log. Perfect log. Perfect log. That's that's the, the sound that we need to listen for. So let's 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 get to it. Hardcore mode. Uh oh. Uh, I think I'm gonna refuse that. Refuse that. Refuse that. Refuse. Forty-four seconds. You win one point. You lose four points. You win two points. You win four points. Three points. You win two points. Five points. Let's refuse. Let's accept that. You win one point. You win four points. Ten points. You win three points. Refuse. You win four points. Refuse. Refuse. You win three points. Your score is 20 points. This game has now been unlocked. Oh, cool. You won 20 points. You now have 30 coins. Turn 18. The dice is rolling. So that was a game I actually didn't have, and now I have it unlocked, and that's really fun. Okay. You rolled it for. 35, 34, 33, 32. It's a neutral square. Turn 19. The dice. You rolled a 1. 31. It's a neutral square. Turn 20. And basically, the dice is rolling. what I was doing, I was listening to the pitch, and if it was too high or too low, I, I, I was pressing R to say no, and if it was close enough, I would hit F to uh, say yes. 29, 28. Oh yeah, a blue square. That, that was actually really turn fun. All right, the dice see where we're at. The dice turn 21. All right. You rolled a 3. 27, 26, 25. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won 3 coins. You now have 36 coins. You rolled a 3. 24, 23, 22. Oh no, a red square. You lost 3 coins. You now have 33 coins. You rolled a 5. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. A game square. A mini game will randomly be selected. Oh, we're gonna play one more. The Haunted Forest. Oh, yeah. 
You are making your way through a really dark forest, haunted by ghosts and snakes, and your job is to walk through it while avoiding those dangerous creatures. And while you have to jump over the snakes crawling toward you by pressing the space bar, you can't jump over the ghosts, but rather have to stop and wait for them to disappear from your way. Be brave. This game is played as a side-scroller. Press the numbers in order to hear the relevant sounds and what they mean, then press enter when you're ready. So this one is a lot of fun. Basically, you are walking to the right. You have to jump over the snakes by pressing the space bar and holding the right arrow. And when you hear ghosts, you have to stand still and wait for them to vanish because you can't jump over them. And if you walk, um, if you walk to them, you will die. Snake. Okay, that's a snake. Ghost. That's a ghost. That's a really creepy sound too. Go <laughs> ghost. All right, so let's go. Mode. Oh, this is hardcore mode. All right. So let's see what's different here. Oh, there's water. Whoa. Just walk in here. Hardcore will change various aspects of games. Um, to make them harder. Minus eight points. Right, so I'm just walking to the right. Oh. You're back. Minus five point forty nine seconds. You die. Ah, oh, come on. You're back. Minus two points. Twelve seconds. I'm not going to make it. Your score is five points. Five points. I yeah. I could have done better. You won five points. Oh well. You now have thirty-eight points. Turn twenty-four. All right, let's take Good my night. last two turns, shall we? You rolled a six. 16, Why 15, not? 14, 13, 12, 11. It's a neutral square. Turn 25. You rolled a four. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh yeah, a blue square. You won three coins. You now have 41 coins. And that's it. The party it. is ending. It is now time to calculate the scores. Your performance allows you to add 41 coins to your money box. Your money box has now 1,410,098,791 coins in total. I know, I cheated. Oh well. Oh well. Press enter to continue. Game menu. Play the adventure. So that's the board game, and really I think that wraps everything up. Um, I can probably record an online... Uh, online thing but it's basically the same thing except you're playing with real people which once again I think is the real well that's that's really where this game is at is is uh, playing it uh, playing online because it's great to play uh, against the c computer and against you but when you can play with uh, real human beings that's even better that's it uh, so I'm going to go ahead and exit this. Exit. Audacity. So there you go. Uh, that is Crazy Party in, in a nutshell. It's it, it's um, very fun, extremely, well, <laughs> extremely uh, uh, addictive, extremely so. Um, but, you know, I think it's really cool and I hope... I hope Pragma keeps building on it. I hope he comes out with um, a way to host either a I either a central server of his own or provides a program that that people can uh, use to host one. Because the peer-to-peer -peer thing is 
not the greatest thing and it's not that easy to set up and um I mean look if if some people want to play but you don't want to play and you're the only one that can host well then they're kind of uh they're kind of SOL because uh the host has to be there playing from what I can tell although actually um when you host a mini or when you host an online game it it's actually possible to hit um F3 to put yourself into into spectator mode and you can even do this when you're the server so technically you could host your server and let people play on it but the problem is you would have to be there you couldn't turn it off because once again it's it's peer to peer so the other players are playing but you're technically still there keeping it up and data is going from uh, you to them um but anyway that is crazy party for you um i think i probably will at some point record an online uh game uh i don't think i'll be streaming it though because like i said i've been having major issues streaming so i don't think i'll be doing that but um Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, once again, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments section, and I will do my best to get back to you. So, ooh, excuse me. I'm not sure where that came from. Um, anyway, uh, with that being said, you guys take care. Bye.